Much of Barry Jewell's time is spent dealing with hundreds of items from Francis Bacon's studio, which he says the painter gave him. The authenticity of these works is disputed, but they give Barry access to high-profile people. Today, he's giving something to one of Britain's most famous playwrights, Harold Pinter. Please to Please to have a have a seat. <laughs> yes, yes. Is this coming from the National? No, I'm going to the National. Oh, you're going to the National? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Starting in the film companies. What? Not like the film people that get you going very early in the Oh no, no, no. I'm the I'm the director, so I can choose my own time. Okay. What are you directing? A play of mine. Which one? Well, no Man's Land. Okay. I have brought along to give to you. This was Francis's old satchel. And uh, just days before he died, Francis Bacon died, I went to collect him to take him to the airport, to take him to Heathrow. And when I went to pick him up, he called me into his garage. He had this big garage underneath the Muse house and called me in to help load up my car with piles of newspaper clippings and old magazines and books in the studio, pinned back, was this book, your screenplay, which could have been a great film. It turned out to be a great piece of theater. And just to show you, indeed, it was open, pinned back, at this page, 144 and 145. Now, <laughs> good lord. Good lord. <laughs> yes. mm. How wonderful. So it's interesting that you have uh, sparked what would have been his last triptych. Well, well, well. Um, probably comes a bit of a surprise, as, it, as the rest of the world. Yeah. Um, that's really it. So I'm very happy to, um, to give this to you. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. I must say I'm very moved. Um, I'm also astonished to, to see this. To see this. Uh, but I'm, uh, I have no idea that he, uh, he had done this or was involved in, in this screenplay. You know, I did, because um, I met him earlier, you know. Yes, how was that? It was actually a really quite funny story. Um, an Oxford Don telephoned me, and, and I didn't know him, and he, he introduced himself, and he said, I'm a great friend of Francis Bacon. This was about 1969, I think. And I had two plays running at the Aldwych, the Royal Shakespeare Company, the double bill. And this fellow said, um, Francis is a great admirer of yours and he'd like to see the plays at the Aldwych. And I said, fine, I'll get two tickets. He said, would you like to have dinner um, after the show? I said, absolutely. I said, well, I'll, I'll book a table, you know, at a restaurant. So they went to the play and then I met them, Francis and uh, this chap, after the show and we had dinner and Francis was in great form. He did enjoy the evening, which interested him very much. Um, from a number of points of view, and I remember him as being so full of life and um, relish and, you know, wit. Uh, the other fellow just tucked in the Oxford Don and had a good meal and drank a lot of wine, and then finally he got up and said, well, I have to get back to Oxford, gentlemen, so thank you very much for dinner, and um, off he went. And Francis Bacon looked at me and said, who was that fellow? <laughs> and I said, I have absolutely no idea. I thought he was a great friend of yours. And Francis said, but I thought he was a great friend of yours. And the fact is, neither of us knew him. It was the most brilliant con job. Did you ever find out? I knew there was a question mark over the material he'd just given him. But it seemed Barry wasn't going to mention this to Pinter. How can you actually prove that they're genuine, though? Well, I think you have to see the tie-in with finished paintings. Uh, and... The tie-in is very strong and very close with paintings. There's a one-to-one, -one, direct one-to-one relationship. Um, 
and they did they came from a studio I mean I was a close friend and people saw me given this material and uh, some materials slopped with his, with his hand marks and fingerprints and some is quite clean. Do you find there's a lot of sort of memorabilia going around I mean books which are signed by you and so on have a greater value is there a market in Harold Pinter memorabilia? Yes <laughs> I do find that um, apparently that's the way it is yes. Do you have to protect yourself against that? Oh one always has to protect oneself one way or the other, but it's a very, you're very vulnerable, really, in that territory. Barry insisted his meeting with Pinter was photographed. This is my first sight of Barry Jewell in action, meeting someone famous and recording it. <laughs> 